Good afternoon everyone and welcome to Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today, we are going to look at the third question of the 2020 NCA Level 1 Geometric Reasoning. Hopefully, you have watched question 1 and 2 in the previous two videos and now we're going to tackle the third question in this examination. Okay, so question 3A in the spider web ABC is a straight line. So ABC is a straight line. Line AD and BE are parallel. So this line and this line are parallel. And DB is equal to AB. So DB is equal to AB. In other words, in this triangle, it's an isosceles triangle. And then they ask you, angle DBE is 64. You are going to calculate angle P. Okay, so what are we going to do? First thing we're going to do is that we find angle ADB. So this angle here, ADB, that angle is the same as 64 because if the alternate angles on parallel lines are equal. So angle ADB, that is going to be 64 degrees. Okay, if that is 64, and this is an isosceles triangle, angle DAB, that angle here is also going to be 64 because they are the base angle, isosceles triangle are equal. Okay, so now, once you know this angle is 64, this angle is 64, we can calculate angle DBA. So we can calculate this angle here, angle DBA, because this angle plus 64 plus 64, they will give you 180 because some of the interior angle of a triangle add up to 180. So to calculate angle DBA, you just take 180, take away 64, take away 64, and the answer is 52 degrees. So far so good? Great. Now, once you have angle DBA is 52, we can calculate P because 52 plus 64 plus P, they're going to add up to 180 because they are angle on a straight line. Okay, so this three angle should not suppose to, it's going to be angle on a straight line, okay? Angle on a straight line, they add up to 180. So to get P, you have to take 180, take away 64, take away 52, and the answer is 64 degrees, and that will give you an achieve. Not too bad, right? Okay, let's proceed to question 3B. This question is a merit question, so we shall read the question. So this is a similar triangle question. So this small triangle is similar to this bigger triangle. So how we know? Because angle P, this angle P and this angle P is the same. That angle and that angle, so this angle and that angle, angle here, this angle and that angle is going to be the same because they are corresponding angles on parallel lines. And similarly, this angle and that angle, so this and this angle, they are also the same because they are corresponding angles on parallel lines are equal. So all these three angles are the same, so we can claim that these two triangles are similar. Okay? Okay, once they are similar, we need to find the ratio. This length is 28 because 20 plus 8 is 28. Uh, this length is 20, 12, and 9.6. And this part you do not know, and this part you do not know. Okay, so now we are going to calculate them. So the ratio of 28 divided by 20 is going to be 1.4. So the ratio of the big triangle compared to the small triangle is 1.4. So if we want to calculate the length SR, you need to multiply 9.6 by 1.4, and the answer is going to be 13.44. In other words, this length here is going to be 13.44 cm. Got it so far? Okay, to calculate this length or this length here, you take 12 times 1.4 because the ratio is 1.4, it is going to be 16.8. That length is going to be 16.8. If this length is 12, this length should be 4.8 centimeter. Got it? Yes. Yeah. Now, the question asks you, calculate the perimeter of the trapezium Q, 
RST. So what you're going to do, you're going to add the number 4.8 plus 9.6 plus 8 plus 13.44. And the answer is going to be 35.84. And that will give you a merit. Not too bad, right? Okay, we shall proceed now. Question C. This is a chief question, very simple. They ask you to prove that the height of this height of this, uh, let me see, uh, vertical tree is going to be 16.63. So we just simple uh, trick ratio. So what we're going to do, this angle, so this is going to be your opposite and this is your hypotenuse. Okay, so once you have that, the angle sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse. So opposite is the length BT and the hypotenuse is going to be 80. To solve for your BT, you're going to multiply by 80 on the right and you must multiply 80 on the left. So what happened? The 80 will cancel out. So put in your calculator 80 times sine 12 is going to be 16.63. So we have proof that it is right and that will be an easy achieve. Great, we shall continue now. The next question is a merit question. Okay, so, okay, have a read, find the angle of elevation. They want you to find angle TSB. TSB, so this angle here is what we're going to find. So before we do that, this is a three-dimensional shape. You need to know that we're looking at triangle SWT, and that is a 90 degrees. So we are going to calculate the length ST. To calculate ST, we can use the Pythagoras theorem. SW squared plus WT squared is going to be ST squared. Once we've done that, we substitute 120 squared plus 80 squared is going to be ST squared. Put in your calculator, ST squared is going to be 20,800. To find your length of ST, you square with the answer and the answer is going to be 144. So that length is going to be 144.222 centimeter. That is the length of ST. Now the question asks you, find the angle S or TSB. Okay, the so angle TSB. So we're going to look at this triangle now. So based on that, we're going to label them. Your opposite is going to be 6. 16.63 and that is going to be your hypotenuse. So you got O and H, we have to use the sine rule. So sine of angle TSB is opposite, which is 16.63 over the hypotenuse is 144.222. To get the angle, you have to inverse the sine. So TSB is sine inverse of that value. Put in your calculator and the answer is 6.62 and that will be a merit. Following me so far? Great. Now we shall look at the excellence question. Okay, we shall read the question. A spider is crawling on level ground. The spider starts at point S and crawl directly to point H. Okay, north for a length of 54 and centimeter until you reach the point H. The spider then changes direction and heads to point F, which is 140 centimeter away on a bearing of 78. So from the north is 78 degrees. Uh, SH is 54. HF is 140. You ask it to calculate the distance from S to F. So you're going to calculate this distance here. And you are going to calculate the bearing of S from F. So you need to find this angle here. Okay, so how we do? Okay, so first, we're going to draw a right angle triangle. So we draw a right angle triangle and we label them as N. Okay. So to do that, now we're going to calculate this red line, the length of this red line. So using trig ratio, so this angle, so this must be the opposite. Okay. So NF is the opposite and 140 is your hypotenuse. So you use trig ratio, sine theta is opposite of a hypotenuse. So the opposite is NF. And the hypotenuse is 140 to solve for NF. You just multiply by 140 on the both sides, left and right. You multiply 140, the 140 will cancel out. NF is going to be 140 multiplied by sine 78. And the answer is 136.94. So that length is going to be 
0.94 cm. That's the length of the red line. So far, so good. Similarly, we can calculate NH using the same triangle. So this time, this is your adjacent and this is your hypotenuse. So A and H, so we have to use the cosine rule. Cos theta is A over H. A is what you want to find, NH, and the hypotenuse is 140. So cos is 78. So to solve for your NH, you just multiply 140 on both sides again. So multiply 140. This will cancel out. So NH is going to be 140 cos 78. Put in your calculator, 29.11. So this length is 29.11 cm. Okay. So if you want to find the full length from here to here, you just need to add 29.11 plus 54, and the answer is going to be 83.11 cm. That will be the length of NS. Okay, so NS, the length from NS is going to be 29.11 plus 54, and the length is 83.11. If you know the length, of the red line is 136.94 and the length of NS is 83.11. You can use Pythagoras to find the length SF, don't we? Okay, so we get D squared plus D squared is equal to that squared. That's Pythagoras. So 136.94 squared plus 83.11 squared. Put it in the calculator. FS is the square root of this number, 25,659.44. Square root the answer. And that length is going to be 160.19 centimeter. So far, so good. Great. The last thing we need to do is we need to calculate the bearings. The bearings of this angle here. Okay. So if we can find the angle here, we can minus this 90 degrees and this angle you get this angle. So we're going to calculate that angle. So once we know all the three sides, we can choose any. I've decided to use tangent. So it's going to be this length over this length. Okay. So this is the opposite. This is your adjacent. So tangent theta, the angle you want to find is equal to opposite, which is 83.11. And the length, the, the adjacent or the opposite, uh, sorry. This, this is the adjacent, this opposite is adjacent now, okay? So 83.11, so this is the opposite, and this is the adjacent. We have swapped the numbers now, okay? So put in your calculator to get your angle, you inverse 10 inverse of that number, and the answer is 31.25 degrees. So now the last part to find the bearing, this is 90. So if you know this is 360, the whole angle is 360 so 360 minus 90 minus 31.25 that will give you the rate angle and the answer is 238.75 or you round them up it's going to be 239 and that will give you an excellence in this paper have a go at it one more time it may sound daunting but if you keep on practicing you should be fine and hopefully you guys have watched video one, video two, video three. And if you can master them, I'm sure you are going to ace this paper in the external. Cheers everyone and have a good day.